Yo, how's it going guys and welcome to another video. Now today I've got something super cool to show you that you would probably look past if you was ever in your local fish shop and you probably have done in the past but this product is a product that more or less every single one of you should have if you are running a reef system or even just any system in general because it is such a brilliant upgrade because it's simple it's easy and best of all it's cheap and that my friends is this this is a random flow generator now the reason why this video is being made right now even though I've had these things for getting on three years is because Today, it really stood out to me. Now, this little piece of plastic, I really take for granted. You know, I really just don't appreciate it or didn't appreciate it for what it truly is. It's a marvel. Now, this thing doesn't require electricity. It doesn't have any moving parts. It is just this. But the benefits it brings to an aquarium, oh, now this little thing right here, what it does is this slots onto the end of your return pipe. So the water that comes from your sump comes up from your sump and into your main display. Normally what will happen is it'll just come through a hole or a pipe and then it'll just, as a jet, like a hose, the water will just jet into the tank and that's that. Now, any corals that are in that jet's path are not really gonna like it because they don't like being hit with just straight up jet flow that has no form of turbulence to it at all. It's just like you being stuck in a wind tunnel and being like, Ugh! constantly. <laughs> it's not ideal. Yet stick this on the end of your return pipe and oh, watch things change. Now, because it is so simple, because it's just tiny and because it's relatively cheap at about 20 pounds, in the UK, this thing, it's very easy to look past it, but watch what it can do to an aquarium. Now let me grab the camera. Look at this, at this moment in time, this is my aquarium running. We don't have any wave makers in, the max spec gyre's there, the max spec gyre's there, out of water, and all we're running at the moment is the Turbine Duo 12K return pump from Maxpect. It's the 12K version and that's all that's running in this tank. So, you know, we're getting plenty of water coming in, but because it's on constant speed mode, nothing's really happening. You have got wave functions and stuff with that return pump, but we're currently on constant speed mode. Now look at the water surface. Not much happening there really, is there? You know, water's not really moving that much. It's not ideal. We'll look at the you know, look at the water surface up here. Not much surface agitation. You can see the corals in there quite clearly all the way across. You know, not the best. We need, we're not gonna get very good gas exchange with that, are we? You know, with that water movement. Now at the moment, this is where the water's coming in from. So we've got this lock line inlet. Uh, water's coming out of that hole and it's jetting right towards the corals over there which they're probably not liking at this moment in time. Now watch the difference in this tank when I add the random flow generator. So let's clip this thing on. So oh, literally I'm not gonna change the angle of this pipe. I'm gonna leave the pipe, not gonna touch it at all. All I'm gonna do is take this random flow generator and just simply click it on the end. I'm just gonna aim it where I normally aim it. So that's just more or less the exact same direction. You know, it's aiming now towards the corals over there. So it's just pointing over there. Then, first of all, look at the surface agitation now. Literally just clipped it on. We've done nothing other than just clip a piece of plastic on the end of the return outlet. And look at the difference now. Look at that water move. Really good water movement there. You can see, you know, the randomness every now and then, the flow generator will break the water surface. And it's giving us 
some real good surface agitation. Then if we look at the water line, look at the water bouncing around now. Look at the movement in the water. Come to this side, you know, you can really see how much the water's moving, how much the water's bouncing. We're getting like, it's like a wave maker. You know, we're getting wave maker movement without actually having a wave maker. Look at that. Then if we have a look at, say, for example, this coral here, and look at the polyps, how the polyps of this coral are swaying and moving and they're not just facing in one direction, they're not just being pushed in one direction. The up, the down, the left, the right, they're all over the place. Corals love that, you know, because it's going to be able to, you know, it's going to help them capture food for them to feed on, you know, transport food towards them in all different ways and angles and just keep them, you know, oxygenated and just happy, just very very happy and that is literally look at it now look at that water go now how much it's bouncing and moving look at that and all that from that one piece of plastic so guys i just wanted to show you that because i thought it's just it's so cool but i've I've just become used to having it. I've always, I've had one for so long. I've just been so used to it being there. And when I took it off to clean it and noticed how the water was very, you know, stagnant almost without it. It was like, wow, that little piece of plastic does a hell of a lot. And I just took it for granted. So I wanted to share that with you. So if you want to upgrade your aquarium at very little cost, get yourself a random flow generator. Now, this random flow generator will click straight onto um, Lockline, but if you don't have Lockline, if you have some form of other out, uh, inlet in your aquarium, they do d create adapters for all different types of aquariums. There's adapters for more or less all of the main brand aquariums, there's adapters for everything. So if you want one of these random flow generators on your tank, get one. It's cheap, it's simple to install, yet look at the benefits. Guys, thank you so much for checking out today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, as always, let everybody know, share this video, tell the world, hit like buttons, leave comments, do whatever it is that you guys need to do. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all in the next video.